Today, Mike and I are going to show you how to make the ultimate Eggs Benedict. With ham and apple. So for this, we're going to do an awesome Eggs Benedict, traditionally with bacon. However, we're going to do ours with ham and our twist of apple. But the real star of this is our homemade hollandaise sauce, which is butter mm. and egg. Cool. Okay, and that's where we start. So all we need is one egg yolk over a pan of simmering water. Okay, and then Mike, if you can whisk that together with a little bit of lemon juice, we need some acid in there, so a little bit of white wine vinegar. So also we need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then over the pan of simmering water, important to make sure it's not touching that water. It's just the steam that's going to help cook it. Then we slowly dribble in butter. Okay. And as you whisk, it will start to thicken, and then you can add a bit more, and a bit more, and a bit more. It's like making mayonnaise or yeah, something like that. It's a slow process. Now, this has been a classic recipe for over 100 years. It was made in a New York hotel, where a customer walked in with a stonking hangover and asked for toasted muffin, poached egg, and bacon. And that was wow. his hangover cure. It's been called the same ever since Eggs Benedict. I just prefer the English. We're English. taking out the bacon and putting in ham, and this is our little twist, a nice bit of apple as well. We just want a chunk of apple like that. So pork and apple. Flavors that work. We know it works. Yep. So you want a slight bit of acidity plus a crunch when you come to this final dish. Okay, so maybe two slices of that, and then if you can cut out the middle core, yep. we don't need that, and then place it into our cast iron griddle pan to start grilling that off. We'll take a muffin, and you can of course use toast or something like that, mm -hmm. but traditionally done with a muffin. So I'm going to halve it, put that into the toaster. If you can put our apple rings into the pan. Okay, how do you know when this is done? Uh, we know when it's done when you've got the right consistency. Okay. So, which is exactly that. So we just take it off. You can see it's got kind of a spooning consistency like that. It's nice and smooth. So if you go too far, is there a way of reversing it to get back to here? If you go too far, it will split. And yeah. what you need to do is add a little drop of boiling water and it will just recover it, okay? Cool. So that's not a problem. But for now, leave it. It's still in a warm bowl, so it's going to stay absolutely fine just on the side for a few minutes. We've got our boiling water, which we can crack some eggs in, because this has now become poaching water. Oh, fantastic. So what was helping us to simmer, to cook the sauce, is now our poaching water. A couple Mine of those. Up. Thanks, Mike. Ham oh. into the pan. We'll flip our apples over as well. We want them just nice and warm, some of those charred colour. And then we can start to combine everything together. You can grab our muffin top. Perfect. One of those on the bottom. Then we've got some spinach. Okay, again, not traditional with Eggs Benedict, but something I love. So that's going to go on there. We're not going to butter the muffin because we've got plenty of that hollandaise, which is really rich. So we can take a piece of our hot ham on top hot like that. Ham. That'll start to wilt that spinach. One of our apple rings for texture. And the beautiful thing about coring out the apple, which is what we did before, we've got this hole. That's now perfect for our poached egg to sit egg on. Sits in it. So that it doesn't fall and slide all over the place. Yes. Okay, so we can scoop out our egg. Can cut. <laughs> and then the egg can just sit on top of there. And that should be a lovely warm sauce, which you just nappe over the top. Nappe? Do you just mean put? It's a French term for this kind of put. Put, yeah. <laughs> you don't need too much. It's a massively rich, buttery sauce. But there it is, our version of Eggs Benedict with ham and apple sorted. Now, this isn't normally the way you'd hack into it, but I want to show you guys the layers on this muffin. Oh. Look at the colour and the layers on that. That is a proper breakfast. Oh. Oh, I love that hollandaise. It's great. Mm. You did you know, a good I've job. Stayed, well, I've stayed in quite a few hotels and had quite a few hotel breakfasts. And um, I've never had apple with Benedict before, but that's good. Do you reckon this would solve your hangover? Yeah, but there's some that you can't forget, isn't there? If you fancy a hotel breakfast at home, then this is probably really good. But if you want some other breakfasts, then go to sortedfood.com and check them out. What are you doing? Nothing.